Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So something we've been putting off for about three years now, a lot of questions you guys ask is what is the optimum hardware I have for DCS? The answer is there's no answer for it. There is a minimum requirement that you can have to just make it run. And then the better the hardware you get, the better it will run. But that's yes, yeah, not a useful answer. I appreciate that. So we're looking at now trying to answer it a bit more thoroughly. So I'm going to take you through to our first spreadsheet of the day. This is myself and RC's thinking, basically. This is how we're going to try and help answer the question. For DCS World, and this will probably be relevant to other games as well, but let's just stick to DCS World. How can we give you information, empirical information, not just guess, not, you know, there's a lot of shit out there, that is going to help and we've decided on four videos and today we're just doing video one that is how can we affect our fps our frames per second so the end product of this video is our frames per second by varying our hardware while keeping constant our DCS settings, there's no point of changing the settings and the hardware. We need to keep it as scientific as possible to give decent answers. Now, unfortunately, there will be errors in this particular test in that I can't do this because we need to test all the different graphics cards that are out there, all the different CPUs, all the different types of RAM and so on. You know, it's simply possible. That's why the input, the data is going to come from you guys. I need you guys to give me this data so I can present it and sort it and analyze the data to give you the product, the advice that you want. Is there an error in this test? Yes, there is. And the error is that although we can keep DCS settings constant, we can't keep your behind the scenes setting constant. You'll all have different Windows settings. You'll all have different NVIDIA, especially the guys that play around with this stuff a lot, which is just how it is. You'll all have different NVIDIA settings or, you know, equivalent. And you'll all have different third party apps running in the background. You may have apps to increase your performance. You may have anti malware running in the, you know, all different things. Everyone's computer is going to be different. So we just have to accept that as an inaccuracy. There's nothing we can do about that. That. We'll have a look at the other three videos that we're thinking of and feel free to comment on this idea as well. Video two, the effect on FPS, FPS being end, end product with the variables being DCS settings with constants being hardware. So this can be done just by me on my particular PC. So if I change the various DCS settings, how can I improve my frame rate? In fact, I'm actually going to change that there. As well as changing DCS, I may as well look at changing Windows and NVIDIA settings as well. So with my particular hardware setup, how can I improve DCS? How can I change the FPS outcome via different settings here? The constants will be the hardware. Errors will be more or less none or pretty much negligible. Uh, video three, we're no longer looking at FPS. We're looking at stuttering and lagging. And that's a big thing. It's not just FPS that causes people a problem. It's stuttering and lagging. Completely different problem. FPS, we can measure empirically. We can get a number. Stuttering and lagging, lagging we can't. We have to do it by feel. Which, so it's a bit more tough, but it's definitely worth looking at. And variables for this. We can look at changing our DCS, Windows and NVIDIA settings. We can keep constant hardware and have minor errors in this test to see how we can reduce stuttering and lagging in DCS. And that's a real thing, especially on multiplayer, especially at the moment. God, it's a nightmare at the moment. So that's what, uh, video three when we figured out how to do that. Video four will be again looking at stuttering and lagging using, well, We've just chosen one here, Process Lasso. There are various external third-party applications you can install software that will help your PC to drive DCS more efficiently. This is a real thing. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I guess I'll have to try it. And we're not going to go into more detail, but it's a thing and it works. Constants will have everything constant. Nothing will change apart from installing the third-party application errors will be more or less none. So today we're just on video one, which was the biggest one and needs the most work doing it. So let's look at video one. Here is video one. The variables for video one are the graphics card, what graphics card you've got, the CPU that you've got, the RAM quantity that you've got, the hard disk, whether it's hard disk, SSD or NVMe. I'm not entirely sure that's actually going to change the FPS, but it's so easy to kind of measure. Let's just put it in there anyway. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a constant, my apologies, constant is going to be the DCS. But this is only worth, it's only worth asking you guys what your settings here and your final FPS is if you have a constant DCS setting. So your DCS setting will be high or VR and we'll go into a bit more detail when I jump into DCS. It can't be anything other than exactly that or that because if you've got even one setting changed, then it, your data is completely skew if. So only take part in this, please if you can get either of these two settings working. And then you will report your FPS. 
And we're going to control this test scientifically so that everyone will get exactly the same scenario, the same aeroplane, the same position, the same head position and everything. And we'll go through that as we uh, as we go on. So the way that you guys get your data back to me, I can't put a spreadsheet up because every time I put a spreadsheet up, you guys ruin it and put porn on it to try and get me in trouble. So thanks. So if I can't do that anymore, what you can do, uh, I can control my YouTube comments. So you guys, uh, please need to run the test. And I'm going to show you how to, exactly how to run the test in a minute. And you need to get back to me with a YouTube message on this video. I'm only going to be checking this video. And you must format it perfectly so that everyone's formatted. It is exactly the same. So what you can do is you can go to the video comments on this video. And I've got a little block of text that you can copy and paste. Say the graphics card, CPU, RAM quantity, that, that, and that. Copy that block. Put it into a YouTube comment with nothing else, please. Uh, maybe if there's a mitigating circumstance or something, then you can add it on the end. But put it all like this because it's all going to go into an automated spreadsheet of some kind at the end. So it has to be in the right syntax. And then after each one of these, put a space and then put, you know, whatever your graphics card is, whatever your CPU is, whatever your RAM is, whatever your the answer to that is, whatever the answer to that is, and your final FPS, please. You can do that. Then we can start collecting this data, uh, 100, 200, 1,000, 5,000, 60,000, we can get back from you guys. We'll put it into a big machine. We'll get a big brain on this. Put it into a big machine with a bit of intelligence and it can start giving us some figures. And that will answer the question, what effect does varying the hardware have with these constants on FPS? And that's kind of what people want, right? It's the best way I can find of doing this. If we get enough data, we can make intelligent extrapolations about this. We'll be able to find people who have all of this constant and only change this and then we can, you know, start getting some really intelligent data at the end of it. Hopefully, if everyone kind of plays ball, we'll see. And uh, obviously, we'll do a second video once we've got the data in to analyze this data. If you want to take part in this, please continue watching the video. If you think, uh, no, I'm not nerdy enough to do this and I have no interest, then please um, don't watch the rest of the video. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. In the video description of this video, you will find a link to download a MIS file. That's a mission file that you must have to be able to run this test. I am going to blank browser and we can type in the link that you'll be seeing in the video description. Ping. You'll be confronted by this screen. You will be downloading FPS hardware test.miz. It's a file. It's a uh, mission file that we need to use. Download. It may look slightly different in your browser. Save as. I'm going to go to C drive. Users. That's me, but you'll be different, obviously. Set in, uh, save games, DCS, uh, missions, save. You can see I've already got it in there because I invented the mission, but go yes, overwrite in this case. Okay, that's the mission installed. Next, fire up DCS. Here is DCS. We're going to go in the options here. We're going to go in system here. Now, it's important at this point that you must play ball. You must have the exact settings that I show you with no difference at all. Otherwise, this is all a massive waste of time. So, everyone... For this test, if you want to do this test, you can have either high or VR. And it's not good enough to just click on high or VR. You must have exactly the same, every single tick box, every single little button knob set to exactly what I've got. If you're not willing to do that at this point, please leave because if you contribute data, you'll just ruin it for everyone. So note one thing, note obviously I have to have VSync off for this uh, test. Uh, it's just a thing. Okay, so you can print screen that and you can get that exactly. If you're going to do VR, then that's exactly what we've got. I know the settings may, may not uh, make a great deal of sense, but it doesn't actually matter what the settings are per se. All it matters is that they are identical for each PC. And what we'll ensure is that we don't compare VR users to monitor users. That's an important thing. We'll keep them separate. Okay, so I've shown you the two settings that you must have for this. I'm going to just cancel out there now. Uh, next, we're going to go to run the map. You cannot run the map on single player. You must run the map on multiplayer. Again, if for some reason you don't want to do that, then please don't take part. You'll just ruin it for everyone. Multiplayer, new server. Now, you don't need to actually have a new uh, your server working at all. It's just the way we want to run this. So don't worry about port forwarding and stuff like that. Put in a fake name, put in a fake password if you want. You can make it public server or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, none of this actually matters, but if you want, you can get it to a similar to mine as you want there. And go open at the bottom right here. Find the missions folder where you put the mission in. Click on the mission. OK. Make sure you highlight that mission. Very important you do that. This is in the caucuses, so everyone can do it. Start. Every step here needs to be followed identical, because if it's not perfect, then there's no point in doing this. Track IR. If you've got some sort of track IR, some sort of head tracker, make sure it's either disabled or locked in neutral position. Because if I look about or zoom in and zoom out or anything like that, it will adjust these results. So this gets really important now. 
that we get this exactly right as I've got it. I'm going to click on my SU-25. Everyone's got an SU-25. Fly. I must leave it in exactly the default position. Yours should all actually look exactly the same because to do this test, you must have ensured that your resolution, your aspect ratio, everything's identical. So unless it's VR, VR it works differently, obviously. This is exactly pixel for pixel, pretty much, what you should be seeing. If you've got track AR, like I said, ensure it's locked in the neutral position and you cannot move. If you've got some kind of zoom view, ensure it's perfectly in neutral position or best, just don't touch it. So again, if it doesn't look exactly as I've got it here, then don't do the test, please, because it won't be working. If you've got VR, is there a way to lock VR in position, RC? I don't know anything about VR, so... Again, I don't know anything about VR. I need you guys to sort VR out. If you, There must be a way that you can just neutralize it in a default position. If you can't neutralize it in a default position, you can't do this test. Because every little movement, left, right, up, down, in, out, will change the FPS. You know, what buildings can be shown, what terrain can be shown. So if we have to scratch VR, then we have to scratch VR. So be it. Okay, so I hope I made that clear. Next, we need to get our FPS meter on right, controlled, and pause break. You can see at the top there, in this exact configuration I've got here with everything set up as I, as I can, I've got I've got 108 FPS, 108 FPS. Please go and fill out the YouTube comment, like I said, exactly as I said. Please don't cock around. I know there's a lot of you that desperately want to see Grim Reapers fail and do your absolute best to do it. But remember, this isn't, we're not doing this for Grim Reapers, not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you, literally. That's the only reason I've got to do this for. So this is one. Please do not try and ruin this one. We'll then analyze the results in a couple of weeks and see if we get some data. We might not, it might be completely random and a load of bullshit, but we've got to try. And we're in the best position to do this. We've got lots of people watching and stuff. So uh, let me just show you how moving about changes the FPS. Look at the FPS at the top. If I zoom in a bit, it's different. That's invalid result, completely invalid result. If I zoom there, it's, well, it's actually the same there, but that's different. If I move about a bit, uh, how I haven't actually got my track eye on at the moment, so I can't show you. But any slight head movement from default position ruins it. I hope that's useful, and I really look forward to um, you hopefully participating. Thank you very much, everyone, if you do participate, and we'll speak soon.